Hey, everybody! If you love to read, then follow my lead. It's S T O R Y T I M E. Story time with S A N D I. Story time, Sandy. Hey, little readers! It's story time with me, Story Time Sandy, and Midnight the Magic Book. When we can find him. I know. Why don't we say the magic words together, and not only will that wake him up, but then we can read a story together. Yay! Sleep, be midnight, please wake up fast. We'd like to read a story from the past. I said, sleep, be midnight, please wake up fast. We'd like to read a story from the past. Say it with me, sleep, be midnight, please wake up fast. We'd like to read a story from the past. <laughs> Laura the Ladybird, written and illustrated by Katherine Holtzhausen and also authored by Martha Evans and Nadine Creel. Laura the Ladybird was a special bug. Unlike all her friends, she had bright yellow wings. Do you see all the other ladybugs? What color wings do they have? That's right, red. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't we count them together? Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great job, everyone. Let's get back to the story. Everyone loved her yellow wings. Each morning, Bibby Butterfly said hello, and Manto Mantis always waved. Hey, this story is even better than I thought. Even Sessa, the sulky spider, was happy to see her. At school, she played with lots of friends. But Laura wanted to be like the other ladybirds. I wish I had red wings like you, Mama, she cried. So one day, to cheer her up, Laura's mother painted her wings bright red. The next morning, nobody greeted Laura on her way to school. Not one hello from Bibby Butterfly, Manto Mantis, or Sessa Spider. And when she got there, none of her friends said hello. Hmm. I wonder what I would do if I were her. Laura sat all alone. No one noticed her new red wings. Until Miss Maya spotted her and said, You've painted your lovely yellow wings! Laura's classmates were shocked. Your wings are so special, so unique, so rare. Laura, Miss Maya said, your yellow wings are what make you you, like Sifo's spot and Sally's legs. Little readers, do you see Sifo's spot and Sally's long legs? Back home, Laura took a long bath and scrubbed until her golden wings gleamed. I'll never paint my wings again, she thought, except maybe once or twice to try a bit of purple or something nice. But not forever and just for fun. Do you see all the fun things Lara painted on her wings just for fun? Hmm, I see stars and a rainbow and a diamond. My, I sure had fun reading that story. The end. The story's all done. I hope you had fun with S-T-O-R-Y-T-I-M-E Story time with S-A-N-D-I Story time, Sandy. Midnight and I sure do love reading with all of you. <gasps> you know what else we would love to read? A special secret message written just by you. So grab a grown-up and ask them to help you write a message for us down below. And hey, before you go, let's read another story together. 
All you have to do is click that box right there. Let's go! Well, aren't you coming? Come on, click the box and I'll see you in the next story.